Well, you've had some great pictures sent in to us by our 70s viewers today, and we want to share some of those with you now, and we'll try to identify them as, as we go. And this is a shot from Greenwood Village. I'll tell you something, that looks pretty ominous as you look at that. It's, it's just, uh, Mike Nelson, are we looking at this a little? Is that actually a, uh, that's not a cloud that's dropped down. What do they call those clouds when they do that? Well, that is uh, one that is a funnel cloud, and okay. that was uh, probably the one my wife called us on about an hour ago. Oh. She said, I'm seeing a funnel. Get on here. <laughs> yes, dear. Get off uh, the phone and get in the And she knows room. what she's talking about. And so that's the, the, as this storm developed, it produced these, and then they'd kind of weaken and come wow. back. And that's what Matt's been talking about. Look at that hail. Yeah, Man. this is this is out near Buckley, so it's I so can't hard even to tell here. what that is. You're right because there's just Goodness. so much of it. Looks like a green and, bin. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's out near the Buckley area right now. Let's look at some of the other pictures that have that have come in. And this looks like that same funnel cloud yeah, we were talking angle. about. Uh, again, this was out near Greenwood Village. I'm not sure um, where this one specifically was taken from, but uh, that was the Greenwood Village area. Littleton, now this happened down uh, near where your house is. I believe this is your my husband? husband's hand. Does we Mike are send these in? <laughs> yes, he did, because he said that the hail just came pounding on our house. And he said we had the doors and windows open, and he said it was actually coming in the house. It was oh coming goodness. down that hard and that quickly. And then, of course, we had a couple of our uh, Twitter followers help with uh, some of the descriptions there. They said it was garbanzo-sized hail. Well, here in Denver, we saw a fair amount of this uh, near Walsh Park, where I, I live. Uh, we saw some of this. This is an area that's in Denver. I don't know exactly where, but you get the sense of it there. Uh, as, as someone was mo mentioning just a moment ago, uh, lots of folks have gone out oh. and gone their plants and they're out there wow. putting their trees in and they're putting all of their beautiful uh, blooming flowers in and they got a little bit of this today. Boy, and do us a favor and please send us your pictures as we look at these pictures because we love seeing what you've sent in to us and and we'd love to see what your flowers and trees are looking like. This is this is out at uh, Bear Creek right now. So again, the southwest area. So again, you can see just the intensity of the, the rain and even the hail that is accumulated. And again, Mike, look at those cars out there. Oh, and man. hopefully <sighs> they will make it through these hail storms. Because these little bitty ones aren't bad. Boy, those, when those big mm -hmm. hail things come along, that's what a mess. I mean, and, and, and those of us who live in this part of the country, we have seen that hail damage. I mean, that is such a mess. This is over to you. Oh, this young woman is thinking, I didn't run, dress run, for this. Run. I, I am not ready for this kind of weather. Oh, actually, I heard that from one of our reporters today when she came and she said, I do not have my rain boots or rain hat today. Yeah, mine are safely in the car. Yeah. It's not where they should be. But you have right to run out to it again, right? Exactly. But uh, look how much of this area is covered in hail. And uh, I think you can hear people making a run for it.